Hey what's up everybody it's Dallas with Gadget Hacks and today I'm going to compare 5 of the top VOIP services for Android. Now Voice over Internet Protocol or VOIP for short allows us to use our modern broadband connections to make phone calls instead of antiquated copper telephone wires. And if you think about it, a huge chunk of your old phone bill used to go to maintenance and upkeep on physical infrastructure. But with VOIP services, you're using your existing internet connection, so none of this nonsense applies. So as you can imagine, VOIP service is generally much cheaper than traditional phone service. And in some cases, calls are absolutely free. But before we get started, I'd like to let our international viewers know that I'm doing this from the perspective of a U.S. resident. So the information here might not be accurate in your country. But of the many apps on the market, five apps in particular stand out. These are backed by some of the biggest companies in telecommunications, so you know you'll be getting top-notch service. First up is Vonage. These guys brought VOIP calling to the mainstream in the early 2000s, and their mobile app brings this same service to your Android device. With Vonage, you get free calling to any number within the United States, which is awesome. But if the other party has the Vonage app installed, you can call anywhere in the world for free. Nowadays, they even have IP-based text messaging and a video chat feature, and your existing phone number is used when you make outgoing calls. Next, we have Skype. Many of you are familiar with Skype because of its video chat service, but it offers VOIP calling as well. With this one, you'll need to purchase credits to dial any landline or cell phone, but if the other party has Skype installed, all calls are free. You'll get a phone number assigned to you when you purchase Skype credits, and the app is available for all major mobile and desktop operating systems. Next up is Google's Hangouts app. This one is available for all major operating systems as well, and it integrates with Google Voice, which means you'll get a lot of cool features like call forwarding. With Hangouts, you'll have to have the base app installed, as well as the supplemental Hangouts Dialer app. That alone will let you call any number in the U.S. for free, but if you take the extra step of setting up a Google Voice account, you'll even get an assigned number and SMS capabilities. Then of course you can also message and video chat with anyone in the world as long as they have the Hangouts app installed, so it's a feature packed service for sure. Now if you've ever stood in line at Walgreens or watched late night infomercials, you've surely heard of Magic Jack. They made their name by offering a USB stick that converted your landline to VOIP, but now they have an Android app. This one isn't as feature rich as some of the others, but you can use it to make calls to any number in the US for free. It's easy to use and very simple to set up, so Magic App as it's called is a very strong option for Android and iOS users. Last but not least we have Viber. This app has been around for quite a while, and recently it's added video calling and chat features. Like Skype, you'll have to purchase credits if you want to call a normal phone number, but calls to other Viber users are absolutely free. It supports all major operating systems, so you'll get the added benefit of being able to use Fiber on all of your devices. Now I tested these apps quite a bit over the last two days, and I have to say call quality is about the same on all of the services. The only real differentiating factors are the added features and the ability to call any US phone number for free. So you can't really go wrong with any of these five apps, but if you want to see my final verdict, be sure to check out my article on GadgetHacks.com. And as always, we'd appreciate it if you would like and comment on this video and subscribe to our channel. So we'll see you again next time, folks, but until then, happy gadget hacking.